If you're here, you've probably already seen the news coverage of this person crashing the Tour de France peloton. You might have seen an incredible amount of fury directed at her in online comment threads. You might ask, why so much hate? It's understandable that there's a negative reaction, of course, but some comments are truly vitriolic. I can explain why. Note, explaining is not condoning. Many reactions do go overboard, although I'd be lying if I said that I have any sympathy for her myself. So, why so furious? As cyclists, we have a special relationship with people like this. Cycling should be a pleasurable, stress-relieving activity, and 99.9% .9 of the time, it is. It's a lovely, incredibly healthy sport, but there is that 0.01% of the time. Cyclists don't get respect, either from drivers or pedestrians, not like cars do. People simply don't pay attention to us in the same way. Pedestrians respect cars and act with caution around roads, not so much around cyclists or cycling paths and drivers behave in the same way. On the road, we are often second-class citizens. It's more dangerous by far when drivers do it, as they drive tanks that can turn people into meat crayons with the lightest loft up, but pedestrians are not any more self-aware, just less dangerous. For instance, where I live, cyclists have legal priority on cycling paths, and I still see completely clueless pedestrians acting in ways that show zero self-awareness. If a crash happened, it would be legally their fault. I could sue for compensation with no questions asked, and they still act blissfully oblivious to their surroundings. On top of that, it's an area where overall cycling culture is fairly decent. I can only imagine how bad it gets in countries where cycling traffic is not prioritized in this way, and cycling culture is non-existent. Now, no one likes a clueless idiot, but we truly have a sore spot about the issue. Every active cyclist is going to be able to name a bunch of times when someone like that almost caused them a trip to the hospital or worse. Many cyclists have, in fact, been to the hospital, me included, or suffered worse fate because of the actions of such people. For us, this is like a flashback to our own worst moments in cycling, our worst fears about the sport realized and rendered in HD on screen at the most prestigious cycling event in the world. What was meant to be the greatest celebration of the sport instead has a clueless idiot with zero self-awareness causing a massive crash for the most vain reason possible because she wanted to be on TV. This lady is like a living incarnation, the epitome of everything that cyclists hate about cycling, and it's mostly the irresponsible behavior of other people on the road. As if that wasn't enough, this whole thing is happening in the context of a prolonged discussion about rider safety, with many of the opinion that the UCI and road race organizers have not been doing an adequate job to ensure rider safety.